when your 20 strength character realizes that the tavern brawler feat allows him to use defeated enemies as proficient weapons. And Brian stabbed some random guy <laughs> with a different guy. <laughs> Hey, what's already? Side Eye Ray here to beam DD memes directly into your brain. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Welcome to another DD memes video. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Before jumping into today's video, I just want to quickly kindly ask you if you're not yet subscribed to the channel to consider doing so now. It only takes a moment, you can undo it later if you want. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I offer you power. I'll take it. For your soul. Did I stutter? <laughs> Creating a character a little too eager for power. <laughs> and literally any patron. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for not saying I have dark vision when the DM said that the cavern was dark. I know that too, Chris <laughs> Yeah, no, that uh, that was really hard, sure. <laughs> also, I, I know that by the time that I post the video and somebody answers in the comments, I'm gonna forget that I asked this question, so I'm not even gonna realize. But uh, is this the girl from Chainsaw Man? Because she kind of looks like her. Enter the bot god. Halfling Rogue wants to grab the belt buckle of an orc, swing himself between the orc's legs, wrap his legs around the orc while upside down, and then butt gut that said orc with his dagger, and he rolls a natural 20. <laughs> the orc. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> oh god, I always, I always love the desperation in this meme, in, in his expression, like it's so, Jesus Christ, powerful. Our necromancer was the king of grumpy dad energy. Necromancer. We aren't keeping it. Ranger. Just just give them a chance, they might grow on you. We don't need a dang dog. Three sessions later. I believe Mr. Chopkins needs his walkies. We shall return shortly. <laughs> okay, okay, that's adorable. <laughs> yes, that includes Charm Person. I finally found it. After 15 years. The Scroll of Truth. If a spell has verbal or somatic components, people who watch you will notice that you cast a spell. You're nerfing me! <laughs> what the f***, DM? Jesus Christ, that is... That's a really big nerf, though. Is that part of the rules, though? I mean, yeah, obviously, if they're, like, right next to you, yeah, you probably can't do it without them noticing. <laughs> but, like, if they're, you know, further apart, you could probably mutter something under your breath, if that would work. Who needs roleplay when combat exists? When you get a group of players who are too good at combat, let us proceed to the next battle. Uh, I'm the DM. You are nothing. <laughs> Just take us there, <laughs> little boy. I can save these people. Help me. Many have said that, but you are the first to make their persuasion wrong. It was the only book he knew we didn't have. You detect a magical aura from the statue. You cast the spell magic on it. The DM starts wondering aloud what happens when you do that. He opens the book of vile darkness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know it's bad when the DM goes back to third edition. <laughs> extra extra attack. Fighter on the ropes. Call an ambulance. Action surge. <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> okay, dude. Idiot all the way down. Artificer controlling the steel defender. Um, and then the enchantment wizard controlling the artificer, and then the player controlling the enchantment wizard, and, <laughs> and then the brain controlling the player. <laughs> Clickety clackety, yeah, they're playing with dice, nice. Wait, no, that's not nice. Wait, does that mean that your brain rolls dice before deciding on stuff? <laughs> God damn it, that explains a lot. If only I had a mother. Quote by Le Rogue. Opens mom's phone. Sound, psychic scream. Font size, enlarge. <laughs> Or reduce, but probably enlarge. Background apps, <laughs> clone, and uh, brightness dawn, okay. Run. New PC and new campaign. <laughs> and old PC that's now a villain. I mean, yeah, it's kind of, you know, <laughs> good luck in a way, I guess. But uh, it's always fun to see, to see your PCs from previous campaigns show up again, right? When you're bad at balancing encounters. Players to the DM. Hello. I would like to cross the bridge, please. Are you willing to pay the ultimate price? No, not really. Oh, okay, uh... Proper challenge should be somewhere between one cobbled and one Tiamat. Somewhere around the middle, I'm not sure where. <laughs> My hot take is that you only need one set of dice. Maybe one or two more if you're feeling dangerous. You know what? I'm about to say it. You don't need 50 slightly different variations of the same set of dice. 
I mean, yes, you don't, but they look cool and they're different colors, okay? Also, like, if, if they're, you know, some of them are metal, that makes them special. Some of them could glow in the dark. Like, I don't know, there's all, all kinds of, of special dye stuff. Some of them could be made out of wood, I don't know. It just happens to apply to me. Nothing more. I'm not a Satanist just because I play D&D. Okay, I am a Satanist, but that's not because I play D&D. <laughs> I'm sorry, old friend. Could you stay a little longer next time? I can feel my time is coming, and I'm afraid. When the players find out that the halfling mob boss that they have to kill goes missing at the end of every month, and he travels alone to some hamlet in the middle of nowhere dressed as a bard. Whoever and whatever he's doing, we can use it against him. <laughs> and then, when they find out that he's meeting his now elderly adventuring buddy, spending a few days at the hamlet, pretending he's still the bard he used to be, and caring for him like a son, making up and retelling his new and their old adventures. <laughs> okay dude, come on. That, that hurt to read more than it should have, okay? <laughs> Hello, fellow humans! <laughs> Corporations in June, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, they always go back to normal as soon as possible, as, as soon as June is over, basically. Like, they have a script running, they have a program when, it, when, when the clock strikes midnight in whatever time zone. <laughs> Probably Australia, because that's first, I think. Uh, just, just, yeah, just swap it. <laughs> Fantastic beasts, but where can I find those stats again? Marshall, comparing their character sheet to the druid's briefcase of beast stats. Dead, unconscious, or just too scared to fight back. All good. When your 20 strength character realizes that the tavern brawler feat allows him to use defeated enemies as proficient weapons. And Brian stabbed some random guy <laughs> with a different guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Brian is brutal. Blasts dandelion jazz. Gnomes thinking between Forest Synth, Dirt Step, Grass Gaze, Leopard Crust, Flower Violence, Shroom and Bass, Mushroom House. Okay, there's a lot. I'm not gonna go through all of them. <laughs> They're amazing though. <laughs> okay, and then you have normal people and all of them are in the category of gnome music. Everyone likes cats. Dia. You wanna try to reason with the dragon? But it attacked the village and it refuses to acknowledge any humanoids that approach it. The druid. I'm a cat. Oh. Right. It happened over 400 years ago. <laughs> nice. I think they managed to do it. That's uh, that's uh, that's a win. Nice. That's a big W. I cast Fireball. The Paladin with high AC. <laughs> uh, feeling safe. And then there's a Dexterity saving throw. And that's the Paladin with low Dex. Yeah. Anyone else tempted to hide adult metallic dragons as random important attractive female NPCs in their game? No? Just me? Okay. You enter a Dragon Slayer. Will you A. Slay the dragon or B. Lay the dragon? <laughs> Paladin and Bard, they're, they're both looking at A, but we, yeah, we, we knew the Bard will go for B. <laughs> I like how angry he looks. <laughs> I like how angry the Bard looks trying to get to B and not being able to. And also the Paladin frustrated that he can, <laughs> that he has to stop him. It's all fun and games until someone goes down. It's a whimsical adventure filled with possibilities and childhood wonder. <laughs> and then inflict wounds, crits, and uh, yeah, almost kill someone. Yeah, what can I say, quite the magical adventure. A little levity is sometimes needed. Sorcerer with a tragic backstory, warlock with a tragic backstory, and cleric that worships the god of beer and food. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, you, you, you just can't have the entire party be mentally unstable, okay? Someone, someone needs to be the comic relief, if, if not the voice of uh, reason, at least. That's an interesting idea. My younger brother is joining a D&D campaign, and his player character is a centaur that was raised by horses and thinks that he's a horse. Don't they have mirrors in D&D? If they don't have mirrors, even though they should, um, there are lakes. How do you not notice that you're not a horse? Oops. Me, realizing that I made the hashtag DND encounter too difficult. Don't get mud on my gold cloak, you mongrel. When the flashy character with a noble background saves some poor villagers. You saved us, Jin. I owe you my life. No thanks. I've seen it and I'm not impressed. <laughs> it's fine, you can keep your life. God damn, dude, that's gonna that's gonna be some emotional damage. That's gonna hurt to take in. <laughs> Maybe not instantly, 
Maybe not instantly, but that's the kind of thing that you lay in bed at night thinking about. <laughs> Inspired from another post about strength and dex, D&D players be like, can I use acrobatics instead? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure some, uh, some solid acrobatics skill with a good roll will uh, definitely allow you to push the rock. Yep. <laughs> and it's always not even funny. It's some inside joke or some scenario that just doesn't make sense in the actual game. Me blocking every account that tries to advertise their D&D podcast while pretending that it's actual content on D&D memes and D&D Next. Finally, inner peace. <laughs> Wait, is, is that all it takes to, to get inner peace? I, I should really try that because that, that's a, that seems like a fairly easy step to accomplish. I have some apologies to make. Hey, are you sleeping? Yes, now shut up. You managed to hold concentration on hit metal against the adult white dragon for 4 rounds while he stomped your party. But you forgot to impose this advantage every turn. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the party at that moment. If he's so smart, how come he's dead? When the DM asks me how I introduce myself to the NPC that we just met. <laughs> versus when the DM asks me how I land the killing blow in combat. The only exception being the hit movie Morbius that made a Morbillion box at the Morb office. A 100 minute movie or a 3.5 hour analysis video of a multi-class combo that I have never heard about. <laughs> Look, there, there is something, okay, I don't know what it is, I really don't know what it is, but there is something that makes YouTube, uh, I don't know, essay videos I think they're called? whatever uh like really long videos right like really really long one hour or more usually really appealing to watch for some reason <laughs> like i don't know there's just there, there's something about them i guess i don't know i don't know what it is <laughs> i am a baby dm let's see how this goes when i invite a bunch of friends to a one shot last minute thinking that most would refuse on such short notice but they all rsvvs and now i have to rebalance the encounters you know what Double the dragons. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's always the solution, right? <laughs> Can we all just have fun? Is that too much to ask? Look at him. He's playing as an edgy rogue with dead parents. How creative. <laughs> Me, just trying to have fun playing as a character that I like and put a lot of effort into. One of the saddest things that a rogue can hear. DM to the rogue. The enemy is not within 5 feet of your ally. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> if action economy is king, I'm in exile. Rolling bad in roleplay versus rolling bad in combat. <laughs> Welcome to the club, buddy. Hey, I'm a newbie GM and this is my first game. Hi GM, can I kill the enemy by putting the counter of endless water in their ass and switching it to geyser, <laughs> geyser mode? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, this is why people don't want to DM. This. This is a very good example of that. <laughs> Alright, on that note, that's gonna be it for today's video, so thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Also, big thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon, as well as on YouTube as channel members, I appreciate it a lot, so thanks so much for that. Links below if you want to check those out, as well as links to the social media, Discord, and everything else. And uh, yeah, that's it, thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time, have a great day, bye!